guys, it's Queen Beja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 13 of Demon Slayer. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Don't worry, I'll find him. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they found him. Oh. God damn, this is making me dizzy.
unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Come here. Holy stop, please, it hurts. Just sit, man. So sad. I wouldn't be surprised if we did that, but probably, yeah. His writing. Sorry. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, damn, that's nice. I don't know the cat gets new. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Come here, guys. Oh. Could you just bark right up? Oh, I should be outside. Had that little girl sit so fucking close to your ass. The hell? Oh. <laughs>
Jesus. <laughs> He's so cute. I love him so much. It's like a little, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Nezical.
No, you're not. What the fuck is wrong with you? See, I just, mm, why you ended at a really good moment? So we know that they're going to fight next week, which I'm really excited about. Ugh. But the fact that Precious could have been rolling, <laughs> that dude was protecting Mexico, I can't. Oh. oh, that hurt. My fucking heart. God damn. I love him so much. He's so sweet. I just, uh. Finally, we know who the last fucking person who was in the group is. Like, thank God. But I had a weird feeling that, like, we weren't going to know until maybe either between this week or next week. But thank God we finally fucking know. I just kind of wish now we got to see him in action during the selections test. But no, they're like, nah, you're just going to wait until the moment is ready. We're not ready yet. And then they finally fucking did it. Just like, nice. I, I wouldn't say I hate him. I would say right now I kind of, I, I have like a love-hate relationship with him. But it's more really of a love-dislike. Because, I mean, yes, he's a, he seems like an ass. But I think both him and Zanetsu are both going to fall in love with Nezuko because Nezuko? It's shit, but I don't know. Just, mm, I'm just so happy. But they're all going to fight. He's going to fight, and then, like, several episodes later, they're going to look back on it. They're like, remember when we fucking fought? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna last. <laughs> so either one of two things might happen. Um, Borgai and Tanjino will fight, or they'll fight until, like, Tanjino hurts himself really bad, like his bones break, and then it's just like, okay, hey, time out. Now, I don't think Nezuko is gonna pop up because it is the middle of the day, and she's gonna get hurt by sunlight. So, if they were fighting, and they kept fighting into the dead of night, then Nesco could pop out and try to kick his ass and such, but I, I don't know. I mean, it could go any freaking way with whatever the hell is going to happen between these two next week. And um, either one of the three kids, maybe Zenetsu might stop it, but because Zenetsu was so beaten up by him, I don't really think he's going to do anything. He, he might yell, but I think the three kids are going to be one of them might stop it. Maybe all three. Maybe just one. I don't know. Hell, maybe even Tanjino might just be like, alright, fuck it. We don't need to be fighting over this. This is stupid. And then might just go ahead and explain the whole situation to both of these guys to get them on his side. Because eventually, they're going to be friends. And they're going to work together. I mean, Tanjino and Zenetsu, they're already friends. And we just need this guy to slowly come over to our side. But because he... He is stubborn, but that's okay. It's okay to be stubborn. He's just, you know, he has one of those, it's just, it's like, he has an attitude of it's my way or not, or the highway or some shit. And he's the type of kid who's just, well, not even kid. He looks more like a man who just doesn't get his way. I mean, and you know, you could be an asshole because of that. But I'm, like at the same time, he could be a really genuinely nice person once he doesn't have, you know, that high energy and always wanting to kick some ass when a demon comes around. But it's like, you know, I want him to, like, relax. But it's only really until after this little situation between the three of them sort of calms down. And then once we see that it's over, we finally get to see how he's truly like and such. I mean, he seems like a very nice guy. A little arrogant, but nice dude. Very interesting. And I just want to know more about him. So I'm hopefully praying that before like we're not about to be on episode 14 i think the show has like 24 episodes at least um maybe there's just one episode or two one or two that could just focus on him and his backstory since we now know about zanetsu's backstory and how he could hear things 
smell things, and he's very different to Tanjiro, because since we already now know much about Tanjiro, and now we're learning slowly and surely about these other characters, it's like, okay, we now know it's the Netsus, we know Tanjiro since the beginning, what's this dude's deal, why, like, my biggest thing is, why the hell is he wearing a boar head, and that's something that I really, truly want to know, it could be because of his master, but, like I said, we ain't gonna know until we get deeper and deeper into the story, which I'm really hoping that they do. Um, if they do him, do it justice. Even though I've never fucking read the damn manga. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 13 of Demon Slayer. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 14. Bye, guys.